home sales fell nearly 6% in July as housing market slides into a recession. I could bring up a whole bunch of other headlines. It's housing recession linking those two. Not not economic recession, not GDP is actually down. Well, no, we redefine you know. that, Byron. We redefine that. No, 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 no. We, re, we <laughs> redefine that. We're, there, the economy is <laughs> not in recession. Housing is in a recession. Only housing, not the economy, but housing. Okay, so I've heard this multiple times this week that the housing market has entered a housing recession. CNBC says sales of previously owned homes fell nearly 6% in July compared with June. So that's a month over month. According to National Association of Realtors, sales dropped about 20% from the same month a year ago. In terms of economic impact, we are surely in a housing recession because builders are not building. That's why we're in a housing recession, because builders are not building, says Lawrence Yun, chief economist for realtors. All right. So let's unpack this, Pat. Um, you you want to talk recession. You want to talk housing recession. Let's jump into it. I would still say I'm just going to you know, drop it on the table here. We're in an economic recession, not a housing recession recession especially asterisk especially if you own real estate all right if you're a renter right now you might feel like you know everything is toppling down upon you if you have ambitions to be a homeowner or even if you just want to keep renting because your rent is probably going to likely the, the cheapest place for you to live right now is the place you're in right so What do I mean by we're not in a housing recession, despite the fact that, yeah, Lawrence Young's right. We're not building enough homes. We haven't built enough homes in the last 10 years, Lawrence. Where were you this this entire last decade? It's why we're in this this spot right now where we're still at less than two months of inventory in most markets across the country, including many markets in Connecticut, where we don't have enough homes to meet demand. We haven't been building. Let's define that this housing recession. Is it is it you know, if it's inventory, then then okay. Uh, I could get with that. But when you say recession, you it makes it sound like housing is falling apart. If you own real estate right now, you are absolutely in a great spot. You love it. Um you you probably have never been worth more than you're worth right now if you own a bunch of it. So what is a housing recession? I just keep seeing the headline. Nobody's defining it. I can't call it a recession. I I just I'm incapable of saying your real estate markets receding when your value of the product keeps going up. What is receding is the amount of contracts that are being placed. But yet, let's also remember, too, now we may hit the lowest you know, amount of contracts put together for, you know, in this year that we've seen since 2017 or maybe even before that. But let's also remember the last two years, the amount of contracts we saw were accelerated by COVID the last couple of years. So are there real estate agents that their business is receding? Oh, absolutely. Their business is receding because they ride the market. Our team, our business is up. Mo- Chaz, is your business up or down this year? Way, way up this year. Way up, w- this year. way up. And the market, yeah, there's less transactions going around. But, you know, the old rule of thumb, the old rule of thumb in real estate. And this is this is happening this year. It happened last year. And, and it maybe even happened less last year because, you know, if you were breathing and, and you were available, you know, you might have been right spot, right time. of the agents do 80% of the business. You can count on that year over year over year. So right now when you're thinking about selling your house and oh, by the way, they're not selling in two hours. It's taking two weeks, four weeks. It's a more normalized market. It's gone from white hot to hot. Yeah, uh, actually picking a top agent, one of those agents that's in the game, that's moving 80% of the inventory. uh, That's a smart decision to interview that agent. Absolutely. You know, and, and, you a know, lot of people got lucky the last couple of years. Right. And we're still seeing, on average, the average listing is seeing 2.4 offers. So, yes, we're not doing as many deals, but we're still seeing 
multiple offer situations. It's not like everyone's just sitting stale inventory and it's just piling up. Um, we're still continuing to see c competition out there.